So yesterday we talked about photo mats for this photo. And today we're gonna scrapbook it and create a background with some mixed media. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper, where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the subscribe button and bell icon now so you don't miss any ideas. I'm working with a 12 by 12 sheet of Vicki Booten Foundations Paper. I'll be adding water to some Distress Oxide ink. I tried to pick colors that would complement the colors in the photo. Broken China is the color I'm using for the sky, and then aged mahogany to mimic the colors in the rocks. I'm not really painting anything in particular, I'm more just applying the color and having fun with the color. By adding water to some of the pigment that I'm putting on the mat, it creates a really nice watercolor wash. I'm going in with the aged mahogany next. I think this is a good color match for the rocks in the photograph. So after I get a little bit of that pigment going, I start to add some rounded edges to mimic the shapes in the photograph. This is a lot of fun and a lot of the background will end up getting covered up by the photo and other elements on the page, but that's okay. I just want the background to have the, the right colors and look a little bit free flow and some motion. And I think watercolors do that effect quite nicely. There's certainly nothing fancy or involved with what I'm doing here. I'm just enjoying the process. One of my goals this year is to do more mixed media on my scrapbook layouts. So I'll probably get better at this as I go along, but certainly this is a lot of fun and we will just roll with it. I've let that watercolor dry and now I'm gonna go in and add some torn strips of paper. This is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of scrapbook paper and I'm going to cut three strips to embellish the background. Since there's only one photo on this layout, I want to draw attention to the photograph. And these strips will kind of serve as drawing the eye to the center of the layout. I cut this Follow Your Dreams embellishment from a card. I just fussy cut it. That will serve as the page title. I'm going to add strips, smaller strips of the paper onto the top and bottom of the layout. Sort of a frame for the whole page. The torn paper kind of adds to the rustic look of this beautiful photo. The last thing for this layout is to add Vegas 2021. This was a hike my daughter took while she was visiting a friend in Las Vegas this past month. Let's keep on scrapping our stash together. I'll link to a couple more videos with ideas for using watercolor paints on your scrapbook backgrounds. Let's keep on scrapping. 